All right, there was a 92 foot putt from Kyle Klein, a 92 foot putt from Bradley Williams, and Haley forgot to play disc golf. But none of that was more notable than this round that will forever remain one of the best rounds in disc golf history. Yeah! Wow! Let's talk about it. All right, so going into round two of Jonesboro, it was not looking like James was gonna have the best tournament by any means because people were just playing so, so hot. He had an eight under with a bogey on 17, and that is just not really gonna cut it when people are playing so lights out that you have Eagle and Calvin getting 13 under, even on round one, where there is a lot of figuring out lines, and figuring out your play. So it was looking to be just another tournament where Conrad does decent, but definitely not as good as we expect him to perform with the thought of worlds forever cemented in our minds. And it really is notable that Conrad Conrad's only top 10 finish was sixth place at Waco. So I would definitely consider this a slump for Conrad, but that all to me changes at this pinnacle moment where Conrad gets one of the hottest rounds that has ever been played. And the craziest thing is that I don't actually believe there was coverage between hole one to hole 11. So at the moment, I don't think we have any way to watch those holes, but those holes were playing pretty hot. So I think it was pretty much regular disc golf, especially when you have four other people getting 13 under on their round. So the real stroke separation happened between hole 12 and hole 18. But with that said, it is notable that Conrad was 100% from circle one and circle two up until hole 14, which is even more funny because he actually laid up on hole five. So with the coverage we can watch, you see hole 12 and hole 13 throws it in, pretty routine birdies, and then hole 15 also a pretty, pretty routine birdie. This is the most aceable hole with cage hits all day. I think this is where the true madness comes in. That is an incredible start, 11 under through 12. You have a 13 under through 15, which is undoubtedly a good round, good round by any means, but there's so much stress and focus and drive that you need to finish out a round like this that I kind of thought, oh yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure he's going to get like a couple, couple pars, probably a bogey because that's just so much stress. And we have not seen Conrad perform this way for so long, but boy, did he prove me wrong. You have hole 16 where his drive was very good, but just a little bit out of position and then needing to make the most absurd turnover shot. I think it was about like 500 feet over water through the trees gets the gap and then is left with a circle one putt which of course he drains actually watching this back you can definitely see there was a little bit of flutter in that flight but it doesn't matter it goes in and that puts him at 15 under on the round and then hole 17 is another instance where his drive was decent but so many people have had better drives that i wouldn't really call it that good so he needed to make a essentially miracle upshot which is hard to say that it's a miracle upshot when like upshots are pretty routine but this is easily 400 feet on a slanted uphill shot with trees overlooking the top of the drive so it requires a very touchy turnover line that basically nobody can do except the top top elite pros which includes your boy conrad and of course he gets it within circle one like a boss and it's not totally audible in this video but it was stated and heard on some of these shots that gannon and his other card mates were cheering him on super super hard so i think that really added to the positive environment that you need when you're playing this hot <clears throat> now of course conrad's not gonna miss these so let's go on to hole 18. so once again hole 18 one of the scariest drives i've ever seen for t-pad i've actually thrown this teapad it's tough there's so many more trees than you might think so his drive gets decently up the fairway but he still needs a very very tough upshot over the ob line which of course he executes and now all that he needs to make is a circles edge 38 footer and once again at this point i was thinking i don't think he's gonna make it but that's okay this is still a great round but this is conrad he drains it so that is a 1101 rated round i believe people were saying it was 1103 but i think it's actually uh, and this marks the only 1100 rated round for the last four years making us go back to uh double g's 1101 rated round 2019 at mvp so this is clearly an astonishing moment that will forever remain disc golf history and of course i bet they're going to change the layout in some way next year but this is hot hot disc golf i don't know what we're going to see in final round it's probably going to be crazy as well but i think having this consistent focus and drive for an entire round is almost unprecedented you do have to talk about the paul perfect rounds and i think they do hold a place but in the era of modern disc golf uh she pulls 16 under at wr jackson one of the greatest rounds of all time but this is this is one stroke better but at least for the era of modern disc golf i think this is one of the best rounds we will ever see i am so hyped that this was happening and that i got to watch at least most of it uh, let me know what you guys were thinking honestly so so hyped thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe conrad keep it up get that 18 under wild runs signing out peace